locked. It requires two keys. What are they keeping back there? That's the beauty of a locked door. It could be anything. Monsters, treasure. Knowing our luck, it'll be a bit of both. Badge of honor. The elves made a few of these. They'd hang them up outside their dwellings, show their support for my brother. That's all my brother's tributes. Would you prefer we hang on to them? Do what you will. If Freyr didn't bother taking them when he left Alfheim, he wouldn't mind us selling them to the dwarves. Would have beaten you. What? Earlier, if Atreus hadn't been there. Mm. Perhaps. We could go again, find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. Freya, getting back to your brother learning to realm travel. You said he fell in love with his teacher. Yes, Gerth. Someone he could wander with as never before. So, wander they did. Exploring the world tree from root to branch. But one day, it came time for Gerth to wander away. Freyr was heartbroken, and resolved himself to perform some great feat to win her back. He set his aim on the grandest of gestures. He intended to be the first to find the elusive source of Bifrost light. And he succeeded, although quite by accident. Freyr believed he navigated best while fortified by a potent blend of Vanir herbs. When he wandered, he... wandered. And he managed to wander from the World Tree directly into the Lake of Souls. The elves have never seen anybody come out of the lake before, so it got some attention. Oh, that is bloody hilarious! I don't know whether he worked his charms at that point, or they just assumed him to be a great deity. But of course, he hadn't made this journey in search of responsibility, so he didn't stick around long. Still, the legend of his manifestation was passed along through the ages. It even endured after the Great Division, remembered by Light and Dark Elf alike. So when at last he returned, he was uniquely situated to gain the trust of both sides and help to create a truce. The problem was, both sides trusted only him. So the peace could only last as long as he stayed around to keep it. And with the long war dragging on without an end in sight, I suppose making any kind of peace was an irresistible notion for him. Even if it meant having to rule. <laughs> She's gone. That? Well, she's hiding again. It matters not. The general is ours. Her work is done. Freya, you once revived a giant's corpse to a... stop a certain fight we won't talk about. Could you call on that power again? Maybe. Do you have a massive giant's corpse for me to revive? Uh, no. Well, there you go. What is that? A phantom! Rogue magic! Came from the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that! Skjelpa! It's vulnerable when it glows! Nicely done! Keep on it! 
Give yourself an opening. Don't waste it. <laughs> Ugh! 
Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out. Of all of us has to end up somewhere. Kratos. Tell me of an adversary from your homeland. It will serve us well if I understand more of your battle tactics. Hmm. There was Medusa, queen of the Gorgons. Her gaze turned men to stone. A mirror would turn her own powers against her. Or, you may remove her head, but that is the hard way. Which did you choose? The hard way. Forget I asked. Lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mimir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. Have an interest in botanicals now? Oh! 
This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counterspell. I must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Kratos' brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works. of my brother. How quaint. That's odd. The runes are dark. What purpose does all this serve, other than a testament to my brother's vanity? Difficult to say without an inscription. But it looks like the elves built this place together, light and dark. Which means this would have been their first act of cooperation in generations. A far cry from lasting peace, but perhaps it served as a monument. One that symbolizes the potential for peace. <laughs> This statue may have survived Freya's absence, but a truce clearly did not. Monuments are useless to those who ignore their message. He didn't create a truce through diplomacy alone. His godhood, his very presence is what healed this land and allowed peace to take root. But once he left, he had to have known what would happen. Well, he had good reason to leave. Some jackass convinced his sister to marry a madman. You said monuments are useless. Why restore this one? It was hidden for some time. Perhaps now it can serve as a reminder. Aye. Nothing reminds people of their history like chiseled, well-lit marble. These crystals contain their own light. You're right. Normally we'd have to provide our own. Perhaps slotting a crystal on the opposite side could... shed some light on this mystery. Ugh. 